Hello, this is Dennis Smith with Dell's Enterprise Technology Center. Today we'll be going over how to create a basic network team with the Broadcom Advanced Control Suite. As you can see when we launch the Control Suite, it shows us a list of all available adapters in the system. If we click on Team Management at the bottom, we'll see we have two active adapters not currently assigned to a team. To create a team, we'll click on the Team menu at the top and then Create a Team. This will bring up the Broadcom Teaming Wizard. We can choose to use this wizard or we can use expert mode. For this demo, we'll be using the wizard. First, we have to give our team a name. We'll give our team a name of 20 Network. Now we have three choices to choose from on team type. We can choose Smart Load Balancing, in which a standby member handles the traffic if all other adapters of the team fail. Then we have Link Aggregation. In this type of team, you can dynamically configure the network adapters in a given team. All adapters in the team are configured to receive packets for the same MAC address. Finally, we have generic trunking. This type of team is very similar to link aggregation in that all adapters in the team must be configured to receive packets for the same MAC address. TOW or TCP offload engine is not supported in link aggregation or trunking teams. For this demo, we will choose smart load balancing. Next, we'll go ahead and look at our active adapters and see that we have 7 and 13. We'll click on each one and click Add to add them to the team. If we choose to, we can now configure a standby member for our team. The standby member does not actively send and receive normal network traffic while other adapters on the team are active. It will take over if all active adapters on the team fail or are disconnected. We also have the option to configure Live Link for this team. The purpose of Live Link is to detect the loss between the switch and to route traffic only through team members that have an active link. Next, we have the option to add a VLAN. Since we do not have any VLANs configured for this demonstration, we will skip this part of the configuration. If we preview the team that we have just set up, we'll see we have our 20 network team with our two primary adapters active. We'll go ahead and click finish to apply these changes to the system. Please note that when these changes are being applied you will see a brief interruption in network connectivity. We'll click yes and the changes will be applied to the system. After the team is created, you can go to Network Connections and see that the team shows up just like any other NIC in your system. That concludes this demo. If you have any questions or comments or requests for demos you would like to see, please visit us at DellTechCenter.com. Thank you.